G'day, I'm Clive and welcome. It's a little video introducing to my channel and the hike of the Bibbleman track and an explanation of how I'm doing it. Now, I've been walking the Bibbleman track now, doing section by section over the last four or five years again. I haven't had time to be able to do complete end to end so each time I go out I film a section of the Bilbo track like from shelter to shelter and also after I got so far down I was asked to film the shelters and campsites so I've come back to different shelters and campsites uh, this, the group shelters also and I film them to add to the playlist here of the Bibbleman track. Now you'll see my pack will change, my clothes will change, I'll lose about 20-30 kilos in weight. Some days I'll gain it because that fil was filmed before and then other days I'll lose the weight again because I've been going backwards and forwards like I said doing different shelters. I'm actually out at the moment doing monodots down to Mount Cook again and this will probably be about the fifth or sixth time I've done this section but as my cameras improve I come back out and I just re-walk that section and I refilm it so my original videos were on a mobile phone and they were like this and then I got a cheap action camera which was a little bit more stable but wasn't the best then I got another one and that had great stabilisation but it didn't have horizon levelling so it'd still be rocking and now I've eventually got a couple of cameras one which I normally use for the day hikes walking in the daylight and that because I love walking when it's dark and the one I'm using now is the one I usually use in the dark. Now I'll give you an update. The reason I'm using this one now is because I left the other one at home. I got picked up by a mate. I was sorting the cat out. I was putting the dogs out in their area. I rushed out the door, just grabbed my pack and I left my camera sat on the side. Because I was going to do a couple of sunsets and sunrises whilst I was out. <coughs> but I don't have the tripod part to this. That's on the other camera. The Bilberman track is just over a thousand, a thousand and six plus kilometres in length. Different times of the year, you can come out different days and walk the same section and it looks totally different to when you were here before. We've had a bit of rain and you get all the, the blossom come out and you get all the spring flowers coming out and it's just beautiful. Going back to seeing me change, my packs change. We're doing a YouTube channel, I do reviews of different gear, different equipment, what works, what doesn't work, all that sort of thing. And I use the boom on the track to test it out. I do do other walks and that also, but the boom on the track is the main one because I can walk multi days without people being around so much. I just got to one shelter and there's a a family there of about six or seven so I'm going to walk down to the group shelter not far from Monodoc shelter and I'll, I'll just grab a pitch down there and I'll be up early in the morning hopefully when it's still dark and be walking and hopefully get some video of the sunrise so that's a short introduction to what I'm doing and how I'm hiking the Bilbo track so the next part, I'll be doing other bits too. Be walking some sections to film the shelters. The next main part will be from Donnelly River, walking the south section. So, hope you enjoy all the videos after this one in the list. And give me a thumbs up, likes, all them things, subscribe, everything like that. And hope to see you shortly.